I should like put on makeup and make myself presentable, but I just don't want to. More like catstronaut. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Taya and this is Chibi Moon, my Sailor Moon and Astro inspired island. Look at Broccolo back there, such a cutie. I can't, he's so cute. So today we're gonna be making the entrance to Chibi Moon. And originally I had planned something more like this where I have just a straight road across on both sides of this bridge. And then yeah, a bridge in the middle, but what if we made it a little bit more fancy? What if we made two bridges with a something something in the middle? As you can see, my resident services is not completely lined up straight with my airport. He's just a baby. Anyways, I think I would like to plan out the road path first to see how that's going to factor in. And already we're off to a bad start. <laughs> So yeah, I think that the bridges would have to start there and then go across. I want them to kind of angle in to go back to this part. This is gonna be tricky. This whole area could be like a beautiful centerpiece for when you come onto the island. Should there just be like a little bit of water like this that both sides of this river area flow into? And then we can have a centerpiece on this side. We can have a centerpiece behind it with a little river area in between. Gorgeous. Get the before picture. Yes, my gmail. Oh my god, we're so special. Oh my god, we're yes, my gmail. Oh my god, stop everything. And this is too narrow to build a bridge across, which is kind of unfortunate. I will have to make it a little bit bigger, but I kind of like the shape that's coming together. I feel like I need to make this a little bit wider down here too, even though it kind of sucks. But on the other side, I mean, I could even just fill this area in in the middle once I have the bridges in. It's not the end of the world. But what if I don't even want to have this part? I don't even think I want to have this part in the middle because the whole point of having a double bridge was so that I could do like uh, a central area. So I'm gonna just, you know what? Screw it. We're removing this all. Okay, I need to get a bridge construction kit just to see if these will be enough because if they are, fantastic. Oh, poor Brucklow didn't catch his butterfly. Oh, <laughs> we need more water. Ah, uh, uh, I feel so confused. Okay, you can do this. You can do this, Taya. Taya, you can do this. I believe in you. Taya, I believe in you. You don't even understand. Why would that happen? <laughs> Taya, you don't even understand. I believe you. I believe in you, even. I even believe in you, girl. Girl, I believe in you. What? Yeah, I believe in you. Maybe if I say it enough times, I will believe in myself. 
that's what you're that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I don't even know what I'm saying. And why don't the edges work out nicely on this side? That's so annoying. Well, let's see if it'll work anyways. I just want to see if it will cuz I did make it wider. Okay. So I can make it this wide and it will work. Let me just imagine it. Yeah, see that is exactly what I want. Okay. That is exactly where I want it, but I just am going to rethink it. And I'm going to place down a spot right on the ground right over here so I don't forget exactly where I was standing on the ground to place the bridge. So I need to stand there again, but I just need to make this corner not look so dumb. Like, what if it was like this? No, no, no. No. See, it's really strange, this side. Like that? And then what if these two pieces were connected by just a little two squares of water terraforming? It kind of looks like a little butterfly-ish. Actually, it could be three tiles of river in between. Maybe that's cute. I think just two tiles is fine. I think I like that. Okay. Placed. Someone is calling me. Oh yes, this is the first bridge that I'm placing where I have to pay off little baby Lloyd. I found a great spot. Why is it so cute to see your character like with a little phone out? Oh, the shadow was over me. That's so cute to me. Adorable. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's cute. And then there'll be another one on the other side. Just a little tiny dual bridge. And I think this will look better with the three squares in the middle. A little river down the center. Because I do want to have this river actually continue off to the left and to the right. So from here, this bridge will just continue over like that. I mean, sorry, not this bridge. This river will just continue on like that. And actually, it'll probably continue on as a four wide bridge or oh my God, what I keep saying bridge. Yes, exactly. That is exactly how I want the river to like keep on going after the bridge. I think that's a much more interesting profile than what I had going on before for this build. So I like that. I'm just taking progress photos too, because I want to share my progress through this on Instagram too. So yeah, this is cute. And then we'll make another bridge on the other side, which will be super adorable, but we need to wait till tomorrow to be able to do that. And I do have an open plot. I love this pink. It's so bright. I had originally intended to speak in real time throughout the entire process of doing this build because I thought it'd be cool to see the actual progress of myself in real time, but I just decided to stop talking at some point. I don't even know when exactly that happened. Like my last comment was literally, I love this pink, it's so bright. And then I just stopped. So here I am voiceover Taya and that's as good as it's gonna get. But you know, I like doing voiceovers so it's not the end of the world. I adore how this build actually came out and it looks great during the day and at night, which is kind of the sweet spot for me while I'm creating islands. I love it when they look really cute during the day, but then you turn off the lights and they get this whole other vibe that's super interesting and cute. I love how I finished off the front. Actually, I wasn't sure how I wanted to complete the little area right next to resident services. I tend to struggle with that on city builds, how I actually want the road to like transition from the entrance into like past the entrance if I'm gonna have a road that cuts horizontally like cross the space right away, if that makes any sense. But I actually really love how it turned out because of the two bridges, which did come together really, really nicely. And this cherry blossom path with the purple, mm, it's so Sailor Moon, it's so perfect. In other areas, I do wanna have it be a little bit more like primary colors. And I know I talked about that a little bit in the mood board, but I think I might have to do another mood board after 
the one that I already did that's more primary color coated because this one is very purple and pink, which I was not expecting. But I mean, I have a purple and pink road, so it's bound to happen. And purple and pink, I mean, I'm not gonna complain. I was into Barbies when I was a kid. That's justification for that, apparently. <laughs> I was a pink and purple kid. I don't know what to tell you. But it is amazing that I originally was just gonna have one bridge going straight across and then leading over into resident services with just like a straight line basically through, which would have actually highlighted how off center my resident services is from my airport. So I don't know why I had that in my mind as the original plan. But this is so much better. Actually, at the end, you can't even see resident services from the airport, which I really, really like. Makes it feel even bigger in this space. I went back and forth a couple times over whether I wanted this little area between the two bridges to be filled in. In the end, I did end up filling it in. I thought that I wanted to put a fountain in that space. Here it is the next day when I've time traveled forward. And you can see the little bridge. I love it so much. It came together so nicely. I wasn't sure whether I wanted to do the Zen bridge or I wanted to do the blue bridges across the flat ones. But I just think for an entrance, you gotta have that height. You gotta have the curve of the bridge so that you can really, I don't know. There's something so cute about the way that the Zen bridge specifically curves. I wish there had other bridges that really had that exaggerated shape to them. Throughout this whole build, I had to go to a lot more order bots than I thought I would. Originally, I did think that I'd be able to use YouTube Treasure Islands and I was gonna document the process of going to YouTube Treasure Island, but this video is already long, so we're gonna save that for another time. Guys, if you've been like nodding off, not paying attention, pay attention to how the flyover is looking so far. I will give you a couple of flyover check-ins throughout this build, but I think Seeing the process of it going from like being half complete to all the way complete is hilarious. You can see me filling in this area again. I cannot decide whether I want it to be filled in or empty. We do keep it mostly filled in eventually. This, this was a frustrating time, but I'm gonna show you. You cannot put a design where in front of where I'm standing. Like in this little corner, I was getting so frustrated. I could not put a custom design down in that space and it was driving me nuts. So what I ended up doing is actually removing that last tile there. So there is a little strip of water connecting the two spaces there. And at first I thought I wanted a fountain. It's too big. It just comes too far forward into the space. So I decided to go with some fencing instead. And I got so much fencing on this order bot like way more than I actually needed to get, but I just, I wanted options. So I got some hedge fencing and I also got that purple Zen fencing, which I don't think I've ever used on another island. And this Tory gate, mm, that is, that is just chef's kiss in that color, in that green color. Who would have thought that green would go with pink and purples, but somehow I'm really living for like the greens and the pink and purples in this entrance. And this is where things actually really started to take off with this entrance. From this point on, I was absolutely obsessed with it. I had to stop and take a photo. I saw the vision and finally I felt like this is gonna be one of my favorite entrances of ever. And it ended up being one of my favorite entrances of ever. Had to complete a little bit of pathing. I have no idea what I didn't complete it on the one side. Like I completed it on the right side, but I didn't complete it on the left for a little while. But here we go, filling it all in this beautiful bubblegum pink, which I adore so that I could continue my fencing down the front. Genji is joining me. Genji has been growing on me on this island. He's actually so cute. I can't believe I never had him on an island before. I don't know exactly when I found out about layering fences and just using fencing as a decorative element everywhere. Like, when did I fully decide to do that? I think it was actually on Glenny. On Glenny, my very first island in Animal Crossing, I was like, every different kind of fencing needs to be represented on my island somewhere. Every different kind of in-game pathing needs to be represented on my island somewhere every single kind of incline, every single kind of bridge. Like 
I needed at least one of everything all around my island. And something about that mentality is A, weird and kind of crazy, but also kind of oddly satisfying to see all over my island. I don't know if I succeeded in doing all of that. It was a 1.0 island, so there was a lot less different kinds of fencing. But I still think that thinking about builds based on which component parts suit this build, like which table would I put at this entrance? I'm not necessarily going to put a table at this entrance, but what kind of table would fit the vibe? What kind of fencing would fit the vibe? If I had to put an incline, what kind of incline would I put? And even just like getting your brain juices moving in that way is kind of a good exercise. Actually, today I was making a thumbnail for a members live stream where I'm doing a cat cafe. And so I was thinking about what items I wanted to use in the cat cafe. I like made a little scene in the thumbnail. And I just went back to Nookazon, which that's been a while since I went to Nookazon, and looked at different items that I could put into that build. And something about that is just like, it got my brain moving. And similarly, back to fences, how did I even get on that train of thought? But back to fences, if you just think, okay, for this build, even if you're not gonna be using fencing, what kind of fencing matches the vibe? And there are a lot of different options. There are so many different kinds now. After 2.0, we have so many different color variations like this Zen fencing, for example. And I don't know, it just was kind of fun to like layer fencing obnoxiously. Like I have it in three different areas of this build and it doesn't even really have any function at all. It's not dividing an area, it's just adding some structure. And I didn't even add anything past these trees in that little empty area. I might not even add anything. Another quick order bot. I think this is the last one that I actually document, but I did end up going three more times. So here is a little check-in on the flyover. Just one bridge right now, but it's already looking so cute. I love a symmetrical entrance. Even if resident services isn't completely aligned, it kind of gives the illusion that it is. I couldn't decide which type of light I wanted. This, These two were actually real contenders, but then I actually looked at Sailor Moon and they use the like plain street light just about everywhere. There's another kind of street light that they use a lot in Japan that they don't actually have in Animal Crossing. It's more of like a vertical and then it just has like a stick that comes up the top with the light. Very descriptive. <laughs> it looks like this. This is what it looks like. Okay, I just spent like 10 minutes trying to find a reference image for this stupid street light that I was talking about and I can't find it anywhere. But rest assured that I did do some research in the moment and I couldn't find one that worked better than that. So that's the one we went with. I am currently in the process of re-watching Sailor Moon and it's been so cozy and cute. I really, really love it. But I realized too that there are a lot more just like close-up shots in Sailor Moon than I remembered. There's not as many like wide angle shots of just like city locations or B-roll. It's very like close up shots or like shots of signage or that kind of thing. So there's not really very many like open street, just like showing people moving around unless it's really far away or really close up. And there's always those like bobbly, like exaggerated light bokeh light effects everywhere. The next build that I'm going to be working on on this island is the city skyline. And I think that is going to be more of like a loose interpretation of the overall vibe of Sailor Moon. I visited a little while back several different Sailor Moon inspired islands and it was very helpful to see like different people's interpretations of Sailor Moon and like and just astro astrological moon kind of spacey themed islands as well. So I got a variety. I got a bunch of different inspirations. And Rosie was being so adorable sleeping over there. Ione actually comes and sits down there a little bit later on and Broccolo with his little fishing rod. So freaking cute. The villagers that are set for this island already are so adorable. I also love that Roscoe is going to be one of the villagers on this island because I feel like 
He contrasts a lot with the other ones. Same with Genji as well. Don't know if Sky will be staying, but man, it's all cute. It's so adorable. This is exactly the refreshing and kind of like bright, happy island that I needed after doing Desert Core and Coffee Core and Retirement Forest. Some, I feel like maybe a little bit more serious themes. Now we're just like in playtime. Now it's just like fun, bright, happy, cutesy. At this point, I just took a little step back to like send some photos to my sister to show her how it was going on, but it looks adorable. We need floor lights, we need some cherry blossom petal piles, and some of those cherry blossom umbrellas. I think those are stunning and cute. Great little detail. And here's the villager lineup if you're interested. Only Kyle is not going to be staying. Potentially also Sky is probably not staying on the island. Once I had the build in kind of a decent place, I had all of the base elements kind of in there. I did do another order bot and got the final details. I am obsessed with this part of the build the most. Like just those refinements, the green and the pink vibes coming together with all these cherry blossom petal piles, the manhole covers. Oh my goodness. I have never used this variation with the cherry blossoms on it, but oh my god look at that umbrella it's so freaking cute the dropped rose i only got the wreath understood the assignment and we really are in the final stretch here it's just basically these city items the fire hydrants the utility poles more cherry blossom petal piles moving them around in different places and then i do do another order bot order are you it's there was so many order bots i mean it's like that every time you do an entrance because you have never worked on this island before. You need items. Here's a check-in for the flyover. It's looking amazing, if I do say so myself. I, I'm obsessed. I'm literally obsessed. I can't wait to see how this whole entire island comes together. But floor lights were a must. And I will show you what this build is looking like at night. But it's time for the final montage. Thank you so much everybody for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and the entrance to Chibi Moon. I'm so excited to work on the rest of this island with you, of course, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.